Welcome back to Anderson Smoke Show. Today, we are out at my Camp Chef Smoke Pro SG24 Wi-Fi. Camp Chef sent me this grill along with a lot of cool things, including the Sidekick. We're gonna unbox this, we're gonna do any assembly that's required, and we're gonna get it attached to this Camp Chef. Stick around, see how we do it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that you can keep up with the latest content. Be sure to like the video and write me a comment. Let me know what you think of this Camp Chef sidekick. Now let's get this thing unboxed and put on the grill. All right, let's get this sidekick opened up. Actually never seen one of these in person, kind of excited to check it out and get this thing added to the camp chef. Thing looks pretty sweet. I think we just slide it right out of here, right onto the back of my truck here. Oh yeah. Check that thing out. Thing probably weighs 20 pounds, honestly. So I've yet to see any instructions. I don't think it's going to be too complicated, but there should be some here somewhere. Uh, I think this is where everything's at, tucked inside here. Yep. Uh, this is the, must be the drip pan there for the griddle. It attaches on the front there. That way your grease and everything can fall off the griddle. Got a mounting bracket, some screws. This must be the supports for that. We'll set this over here. Got some documentation here inside. instruction books. When we assemble the Camp Chef, we put the shelf on so that we can complete the entire assembly. But for the sidekick, we're gonna need to take this side mounted shelf off. So I got myself a Phillips screwdriver here and I'm just gonna get in here, and take this apart. We'll go ahead and set this off to the side. So the first actual step here is to install the bracket for the propane tank. So we've got the bracket here. We wanna remove the two screws off the back of the grill. So there are two screws already in the back of this grill here. We need to install this bracket, but first we need to remove these two screws. Step three, remove side shelf from grill. We already did that before we started. We're gonna install the front and rear support brackets as shown using the supplied hardware. Now it's time to mount the front and rear support brackets. So I'm gonna come on in here. Now remember, this is the side with the mounting holes where it'll attach to the grill. To close off the hardware so you can't see it, we're gonna put this towards the back side. Let me get a screw started here. And these are the M4 screws. And I'm just gonna snug that up just a little bit. Come over here and do the same. And go back here, snug that up. All right, so we're gonna put the front bracket on as well, same thing. We're gonna use that M4 screw there.
What is the next step? It says install the PG-14, which they are, that is what they're calling this sidekick, using the shelf hardware. They supplied us with six M6 bolts. We're gonna go ahead and get that over there. Now, truthfully, I think I'm gonna need another set of hands, so we're gonna set the camera down and get a little different angle for this. All right, so I'm gonna have Alex hold this here while I get this in place. All right, we're just gonna keep putting this together. Got a few more screws to put in. All right, so we just showed you installing those screws. We snugged them up, but that's not actually what you want to do. The two mounting brackets on the bottom, you're going to use leveling screws, and you're going to use that to keep it level. So I've got my trusty pink bubble level here. Got it attached here. We're pretty close, uh, but we're going to get these leveling screws put in and uh, get this thing level. Looks pretty close to me. Next step, we're gonna install the grease cup, the pot grate, and the griddle. Let's do it. There we go, right there. Just like so. And this griddle. Right. So the lighting on this is really simple. Off position, you just push in, turn the knob, you'll see the spark. Man, does that put out some heat. There's one last step involved with this Camp Chef griddle. You wanna make sure that you clean it properly. You're gonna to wanna to do that with some warm water and some dish soap, maybe a soft brush. You wanna dry it thoroughly. You're gonna to wanna to put it on medium heat and you're gonna to wanna to recondition it with some of the Camp Chef conditioner, some lard or some vegetable shortening like Crisco. We'll let you go ahead and handle that. It's pretty straightforward, just like any cast iron cooking materials. Now this Camp Chef Sidekick can use the 14 inch cooking accessories. So the griddle isn't the only tool that you can use. Let's go inside and I'll show you what else they have to offer. All right, let's go ahead and navigate to campchef.com. And we're gonna click on the three bars on the upper right hand side. We're gonna expand the shop menu and select pellet grills and then sidekick accessories. So the sidekick comes with a lot of potential and some attachments that you can add to it. There are aluminum pot sets and a cooker pot. We've got the Artisan pizza oven and the 12 inch season cast iron skillet. We've got some barbecue grill boxes, both of them with cast iron grates. We've got the 14 inch bamboo cutting board and some griddle tool sets along with some individually packaged griddle tools. We've got an infrared cooking thermometer and a panini press. Add the sidekick to your camp chef and the possibilities are endless. Overall, I'm pretty excited to use the sidekick with the griddle attachment. I can think of a bunch of things that I'd love to use this with, whether that's searing or doing some vegetables or something else that I'm not gonna put on the grill. So we're gonna do a bunch of videos and stuff with that. But other than that, my first initial impression is I just lost my shelf space. The only place I have anywhere to sit is on top of the hopper lid, and it's really not that big of a space. 
So I think if you get this sidekick attachment, the best thing that you could do is get that foldable front shelf. It attaches with just four screws, two on this side, two on this side, and you can fold that up and you'll gain a nice little area to keep your tools or set a pan down while you're taking things off the grill. I think truthfully, now that I've got this, I need that front shelf. All right, so today we showed you the unboxing of the Camp Chef Sidekick and Griddle System. We assembled it and we installed it onto the grill. We hope that you liked it. And soon we will be doing a bunch of cooks on this Camp Chef using the grill and the Sidekick attachment. We'll see you next time. Thanks again for tuning in to Anderson Smoke Show. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up with the latest content.